My name is Aaron Fongers, and this is my calling. I received my calling the summer before my freshman year of high school. I was going through Christian counseling at the time because my middle school years were pretty tough. I had gone through a lot of things and I was just so thankful that God had pulled me out of those and really shown me who he was during that time. So I remember one session I was talking with my counselor and I was just telling her how much I felt that I just had this heart and this desire to be there for people, especially people my age who were going to be going through these things. And I just wanted the opportunity to be able to show them what God had done for me and show them that God is still with them uh, and that he's going to be there for them during these trials and help them through to the other side. And I remember she sat back for a minute and thought, well, Aaron, have you ever considered going into youth ministry? And originally I kind of laughed at that because I was like, well, you have to be like perfect to be a ministry major and to go out to be a pastor. And that certainly wasn't me. But really after that, God really got a hold of my heart and just kind of transformed the trajectory of my life and started to give me a passion and a desire to go into youth ministry. So after that moment, I really started pursuing my call by just being more involved with my youth group. Uh, I started doing some kind of mentoring with my then youth pastor at the time back here in Muskegon, Michigan, and really just had an opportunity to see what it meant to be a leader and what it meant to grow deeper in my relationship with God and through going to Christian camps and going to youth conferences and having some opportunities to help with media and the youth team and just see what it was like uh, behind the scenes to be a pastor really just opened my eyes to see all of the op great opportunities that I would have just to be able to share God with other people and just to let them know that even amidst some of the biggest struggles that we go through in our life that God is greater than all of them and that in the cross of Jesus Christ we have victory over all of them. Really, uh, one of the biggest ways that I lived into my calling was just trusting God with where I was going to end up at college. And I was so grateful that he landed me at Indiana Wesleyan University after it not really being on my radar. Uh, God really just showed me that that was the place where he was going to grow and mature me in my faith and teach me some of the ins and outs of what it was going to be like to become a pastor. And I've just been so grateful for the opportunity uh, to do practicums, uh, to work inside children's ministry, worship ministry, and then where I feel specifically called inside of youth ministry and just see how God has shown me uh, the skills that he's given me as a communicator as a leader and as someone who really just likes to be real with people and relate to them where they're at and let them know that God is willing to meet them where they're at and it's not some sort of I have to become perfect before I become a Christian. I think that's been a big theme in my life. Really hoping in the future to be able to go into camp ministry. That's something I've been super passionate about as I've gone to the same church camp up in Onekama, Michigan uh, since 2006 and have had three opportunities to work there as a staff member over the past few summers. And actually this summer and over the fall, I will be going over to Cascades uh, Camp and Conference Center in Yelm, Washington, and just have an opportunity to serve there uh, for my residency in a lot of different capacities. Uh, I'm so excited for the ministry journey that God has taken me on and just plan to continue to stay in some form of camp or youth ministry for as long as I can because I know that's where God has given me my gifts and my skills. Mm -hmm.